ANC colours fill Cape Town skies as members march to DA offices. South Africa belongs to all those who live in it. Yes. So says the Freedom Charter. Yes. If there is a certain section of people of South Africa, especially those whom their ancestors came in as settlers, they must do a survival and live in South Africa. League leaders accuse the DA of governing the Western Cape with a racist agenda. The DA is nothing but a racist, white supremacist, arrogant, apartheid prolonged party. And the South and the Western Cape want to tell them that we're not going to beg white people to come to democratic South Africa. We're not going to beg them. We negotiated extensively in Contesta for this country to be free. We can no longer negotiate with the racists. If you want to be racist, you must go back to wherever racism is supported. The protesters hand over a memorandum to DA MP Zach Mbele, who is told to take the document to his master, DA parliamentary leader, Musi Memane. We demand that the Democratic Alliance-led Western Cape stop the unequal distribution of services as it perpetuates the fact that this is a problem of two nations, one poor and predominantly black one and one rich and predominantly white. We all deserve the same level of quality services. Not long afterwards, ANC members set fire to a DA t-shirt and a doll resembling Western K Premier Helen Ziller. The DA must no longer be a home for races. Otherwise, the DA must close shop. It must not exist in the South African political landscape. It's like the AWP if it continues in the way it's governing and the way it's viewing black people. Police extinguish the fire and tell the crowd to move off. Obligingly, the marchers sing and dance their way back through Cape Town city centre.